Holy Pax. All right, guys, got a, another video for you here. This one's gonna be a quick one. This one was one that, uh, this was a lot that I won on eBay. Uh, the guy was, again, I, you know, I get I get suckered in like everybody else on these lots that say, ah, oh, best, best sports lot on eBay, everything else. Um, Cause I am curious to see who's actually got a good one, who's, who's just trying to sell, you know, their commons off and stuff like that. <laughs> <clears throat> excuse me so what i did was i had a this was man v 57 i think was his ebay username selling 25 count of mlb lots guarantees at least uh one or two cards from the 50s and 60s and then all the way to the 2000s and, and, and newer cards so he says you're not going to get a bunch of wax pack junk you know you're going to get a variety of card a variety of stars uh, it's definitely worth the value. So I think this was like 10 bucks for the 25 cards. Again, I figured, what the heck, I'd roll the dice, see what I can get. If I get burned, well, then I don't buy any more. But if I like it, I'll do it again. Because I've done that with the uh, Dr. Scott auctions there. I've liked his lots that I've gotten. But obviously, with him, I get much cheaper uh, prices for for this one. So this is the most I've I've uh, put on so far for it. 10 bucks probably be the max I would do for any sort of mystery lot without really knowing who I'm getting. But let's see if it's worth the deal, right? Let's see if it's worth the money. Uh, and maybe, you know, if I like it, I'll, I'll buy it again if it's not a bad thing. So it looks like we got a, a Holographics, I don't know what brand that is, um, for Barry Bonds after his, oh, it's an upper deck. I guess it's an upper deck insert card for 99 so not too bad uh, a little little nicks on the side on the back side here you can see that corner is a little worn out but nice little insert card for barry bonds all right we got a rod carew this is a fleer card i think this is uh yeah the 84 fleer of rod carew it's in pretty decent shape Got Catfish Hunter this is a late 70s card. What is this, 79? I'm still learning. I used to know these just by the face, but I have to I have to look at the back now to see what year. But some rounded out corners here a little bit, but you know, nonetheless, that's pretty cool. Jim Hunter, Catfish Hunter. You got a Buster Posey. This looks like a newer, this must be this year's tops, right? 21 tops. So clearly not his uh <laughs> rookie. Yeah, he's been in the league for quite a while there, and he had actually a pretty good year, I think, this year. If I'm not mistaken, I know the Giants did well. I don't know how he did. Uh, now, what do we got here? We got a Max Scherzer when he's on the Nationals. Some sort of Chronicles card. Oh, Panini. So, must be uh, 2017 Panini. Chronicles must be the either the type or the insert here. Uh, but it looks like it's just a, a card that gives you some background information on uh, on who he is and something about his eyes how he has one brown eye one blue eye i guess that makes it makes him pitch better <laughs> all right and then you got the walter johnson i think this is 74 am i right on that one 76 76 tops i think i can't read 76 tops um but that's pretty cool a little insert card there for him I know they had a bunch of these type of uh, guys, uh, the, all, the sporting news inserts for that year, various players. He got some Kenny Lofton here, ending his career towards the tail end here with the Braves. Um, it's a newer, newer, that has to be like 05, 06. He couldn't have played much beyond that, right? I don't know. But in any case, Don Russ Studio. And you got nice Justin Verlander, Topps Chrome. But it's just his base card. No uh, refractor there. But again, another guy who played... I don't know what... I think he might have been hurt a little bit this year. I can't remember. But, man, he, he definitely... You look at the, the league leaders. He's got a lot of orange in there. He led the league in a lot of categories for a long time. He's definitely a potential Hall of Famer here. Who knows how he ends his career. But uh, I don't think... I don't see why he wouldn't. Now we got a... Uh, 73 tops this one looks a little dirty yeah it's a little worn out 
but pretty cool. Steve Carlton, Gaylord Perry. I don't know who Wilbur Wood is, but not bad nonetheless. Well, victory card there. And then a Corey Seager. And that's, I think that's this year. Uh, nope, that's 2020 tops. Manny Machado, Bowman. I think that is a 2021, yep. Yeah. Kind of weird that they don't give his whole career. They just give the current year, but pretty cool nonetheless. All right, Jim Palmer, 1978, Jim Palmer. Oh, cool, Don Mattingly, Allen and Ginter. Uh, that is pretty cool. Haven't seen that one in yet. This is 2021, nice. A little throwback. I'll keep that for myself. And then you got uh, Buford Belt, the leadoff homer, 1969 World Series game. Again, another sporting news insert here. I assume this is for the, if it's for a 69 World Series, this must be a 1970s top card. Uh, I don't think they would put it out in 69, but I could be wrong. But there's a little insert card for the uh, World Series. Yeah, oh, David Wright with a 2005 Don Russ Elite. And if injuries didn't hit him, I mean, he had good career nonetheless, but he got injured a lot towards the end there. All right, and then we got another checklist here. So I, I saw one of these before. I actually had a checklist for this guy, uh, for A-Rod before. Actually, he's got a, like, a, it's like a line or something going down the middle there. But checklist. All right, so this one looks like one of the older cards here, the 1963. I don't know who Zolo, Z, Zolo or Salas is, but but cool, pretty cool 1963 card. It's actually in pretty good shape, too. Not bad, just a little rounded on the corners there, but pretty decent shape. And you got your Cal Ripken, 87 tops. You got Jose Ramirez at the All-Star Game for the Topps Chrome. Uh, this was a 2018. I don't think this is a... Nope, no refractor or anything. Oh, wow, look at this. This is cool. Phil Negro. Uh, and... 19... Is this... Wow, this has to be close to his rookie card if it isn't his rookie card. Wow. 67. Yeah, I mean, all it has is the one year here with Atlanta. Oh, no, nope, but his totals, totals three years. So maybe he has another. Oh, that's right. Milwaukee must be uh, the Brewers there. I, for, I forget that. The, oh, and the Milwaukee Braves, right? So this is, so they must, he must have been with Milwaukee when they, before they moved to Atlanta. All right. That makes sense. But I have to check this out. I don't know when his rookie year is. I, I, I have no idea, but I know he pitched forever. But this is pretty cool. That's a good name. Robinson Cano. A little Topps Heritage. Loved him on the Yankees, but ever since he went, where? He went to Seattle, then he went to the Mets. I don't think he really had the same, same magic that he did with, when he had with the Yankees. You got a 91 Upper Deck Barry Bonds. Corner looks a little... So I'm going to chew that corner up a little bit. So. And then DJ LeMayhew. I've been getting a lot of DJ LeMayhew cards lately. Especially in these... In these, uh... I don't know, these auctions that I've been winning. 2021. But that's fine by me. I, I, I think he's a great player. I love the Yankees. So that works out well for me. All right. And we got Dick Farrell. Now, this must be the 50s card. This must be, I would imagine this is probably 58, if I have to guess, just based off of what I'm seeing here. It doesn't necessarily list the year, but um, I think that would be a 1958 card. But that's pretty cool. And then you got Alan Trammell, 85 Donruss to round it out. So overall, I, I mean, some of the, the newer cards are in good condition, right? Uh, I'm a little disappointed with some of these. I mean, not that this is worth anything, but, you know, the condition on some of these other cards aren't the best. You know, some of these other ones that maybe should be 
minted out or, or I feel like you could still keep minted out. Like this one here too is still in condition. So who knows where they might have kept these uh, stored, but it, it just might have gotten dinged up in transit or things like that. So overall, I think a really good mix of old and new players. I, I have to I have to agree with the description here of what, what he said. I mean, you look at those, what I would consider more vintage cards, right? Anything pre-84, I really consider the vintage um because it wasn't really mass produced as much like when you start getting into that wax packs era yeah i get it it gets old but you know it's still there's so many of them uh kind of flood the marketplace i'm kind of looking more for these so i'm really impressed with the the phil necro uh with the braves i'm gonna look that card up but overall i think these were some pretty good good cards for for 10 bucks um and again i got some nice new stars too uh, with it uh, some newer players, and I do like my Don Mattingly Allen and Ginter card here. I think that's that's a pretty cool card. So, hey, you know what? I wouldn't mind getting from this guy again. I'll try and put a link to his page on eBay. So if you like what I got and you want to roll the dice and see if you want to go at it, I would suggest it. For me, it was a for me. I think it was worth the money. Um, you got a nice mix of cards, and who knows what he can put in there. Um, so let me know if you guys liked it. Let me know if you thought I got a good deal. And uh, I will catch you guys on the next one. Thanks. Bye.